Hi everybody, I welcome you all to Sook Vibes. First of all, I'm not a professional trainer and not getting any promotional benefit from Far and Lennon app. I have used this app for my driving exam and therefore will be using here as well. I will be really happy if I'm able to help a single person out there to clear his her theory exam in the first attempt. In the first attempt? But how? By making theory for driving exam understandable in an easy way. Without wasting any time, let's begin. Here it is. Today we are going to cover six questions under the topic of registration of vehicles, vehicle papers, which falls under the main topic of legal conditions. I will try to explain the answers to my best, but for your reference, I have also attached snapshots from the ebook of Foreign Learning. If still something is unclear, please ask me in comments. Let's begin the ride to get driving lessons in Germany in easy way. Coming to the very first question. You have sold your vehicle which is still registered. The buyer has paid. What must you do? So you have sold your vehicle, buyer has paid you. What are the further steps that you have to take? Inform the registration center immediately of the buyer's name and address. In this case, you have sold your vehicle, so it's your responsibility to inform the registration center the name of the buyer and the address. This option is correct. Remove the test stamp from the official registration plate. No, you need not to do that. This is not your responsibility to remove the test stamp. What is a test stamp? I will show you. Hand over the vehicle registration certificate and vehicle registration book or permit for use to the buyer against receipt. You have to hand over all the important documents to the buyer. This option is also correct. Here are the answers that you have to hand over the papers and you have to inform the registration office regarding the name and the buyer. First and the third option is the correct one. What documents do you have to carry with you if you want to drive a compulsory registrable vehicle? The registration certificate part one, motor vehicle registration. Yes, this is very important document that you have to carry every time whenever you want to drive. What is motor vehicle registration? This is basically a registration document which shows that your vehicle is registered and it is good to be used on the public roads in Germany. The registration certificate part two? No, this is not required. My driving license? Of course. Yeah, because if you want to drive, you have to carry your driving license. Driving license basically gives you a permit that you are eligible to drive on uh, public roads in Germany. Here are the answers. So you have to carry the licensing certificate part one, which is the registration certificate part one. And you have to carry your driving license. First and third options are the correct ones. As the vehicle owner, what change must you report to the relevant licensing authority? A change to my name. In case your name changes, let us say because of your marriage. Now your name also has the surname of your husband. So you have to report the licensing authority. This is correct. My third party insurance? No, you need not to inform. My home address? Yes. If you have moved to a place, you have to inform the licensing authority that I have moved to this place and this is my new home address. So here are the answers. Take first and third. Even if your name changes, example in case of your marriage or if you have moved, you have to report it. You are the new owner of a licensed vehicle. What do you have to do? I have to present the licensing authority with the proof of existence of liability insurance for the vehicle. This is correct because you are not allowed to drive the vehicle if you don't have the liability insurance. This option is correct. Generally arrange for a vehicle roadworthiness test to be performed at the time of change of ownership. Vehicle roadworthiness test means that your vehicle is good to go. Normally this test is conducted by DECRA or by TOF. Notify the licensing authority of the change in ownership. You have to inform the licensing authority that now the ownership has been changed. I have bought this vehicle or I have sold this in both the conditions. Since the owner has changed, you have to inform the licensing authority. First and third options are the correct ones. Here is answer. The buyer must re-register the vehicle immediately. This requires proof of insurance. So you have to present the proof of liability insurance and then you have to notify the licensing authority of the change in ownership. What is important with regard to the official registration plates? They must always be legible. They must be in such a condition that they are easy to read. They are clear. The rear registration plate must be lit up in darkness. So they must be always illuminated. So the concerned authorities, they can always read your number plates even when it is dark. They must be securely attached at the appropriate places. So they must be securely mounted. 
They should not fall off if you dry. All three options are correct. And here I have marked it, like they must be always legible, they must be clean, easy to read, mounted in the appropriate places, and they must also be limited in darknesses. What are you allowed to change on the offshore registration plate? Nothing, this is the correct one. Since the offshore registration plate are issued to you by a licensing authority, you are not allowed to change anything over there. Attach a protective file for the lettering, no. Attach color stickers, no. You should not change anything. So these are the number plates and it is therefore not permitted to change them. Why? Because they are official. So their shape and design is mandatory. Thanks for watching. If you have liked my video, please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you are interested in any particular topic, please feel free to write in comment section. Take care. See you next time.